Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Perfect Genetics Challenge, Generation 7, Part 7, I believe. Um, I do want to address something really quick before we really get too far into this part. Um, so, Part 5, I believe it is, um, is actually only 13 minutes long because I, and I recorded the whole part, but... I don't know where the footage went like I don't know if it accidentally got deleted even if it did I don't know where it is um, I don't know if for whatever reason it um, like when I've finished recorded recording it it's saved to a different location I can't find it though so um, and I didn't even realize it when part six went up because uh, I'm pretty sure I recorded part six like right after or something but I do want to say it now, I have no clue where part five, the second half of it is. So you're just going to have to kind of hold through with me on uh, the first half. Which I'm honestly, at least I got the important half. Um, because that's the wedding part. So at least I actually got the wedding. The second half is when we got her pregnant, even though for whatever reason... That didn't save when I exited the game because I had to get her pregnant again. It was weird. Um, but, I mean, I had the baby jingle. I would show you the evidence if I knew where the clip was. But we're going to get her pregnant again because Tyler is not perfect genetics. So, we're going to try again. And then we are actually going to um, potty train him. That's what we're going to start with for skill building. So, yep, and we're gonna go in the shower because shower is the fastest way. I also do want to tell you guys though that I no longer have my foster puppies. Teddy and Trixie are back at the shelter, so I should have had them for another week and a half, but I don't know if the shelter got it wrong on their age, like, um... If they, like, okay. About half of the staff of the shelter is able to correctly, you know, decide how old the pets we receive are. The other half, and we're pregnant, um, the other half is normally wrong. So I don't know if it was one of the cases where they, they um, assumed how old they were incorrectly if they were simply told wrong um, when the pups were brought in if they were told incorrectly on the age and they just went with it um, or if it's one of those things that they just decided even though the pups are are seven weeks old by now um, they're just like eh, we're, gonna, <laughs> we're gonna put them up for adoption anyways and just claim they're old enough. I don't know what it is, but I did not have them for the three weeks I was supposed to have them. But I'm gonna say my body's probably very glad they're they're gone. I'm so tired. I'm like I was getting really sleep deprived the last few days I had them because they were being pains in the butt very early in the morning. So okay, we're gonna go potty train Tyler. Who is, of course, now he's tar tired, so I'm gonna bump that up. Because I tried putting him in his crib and he just sat there all night. <laughs> now it's stupid not to think to cheat that down so he would sleep. Actually, we're gonna just have him go till he's fatigued. Fatigue wood. And the puppies over here, um, Bibble and Ballora get along really well. I also have no idea what you guys have said. <laughs> um, cause for you guys, uh, the last part has not gone up yet. Um, so that is why we still have this Bibble and honestly, cause I kind of pre-record each Let's Play in like chunks. Um, so I can stay on top of it. Um. So I have not seen it yet, and I probably will not see if you want me to keep this bibble or get the other bibble for a while. 
I'm just saying. Good pacing. That means he like works out longer, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> We're going all the way out here. I got two pea spots in my house too. There's one in the kitchen and there's this one outside. And I'm pretty sure Ballora's the one that peed inside. Not that it really <laughs> not that it really matters to be honest. I mean I know I try and train them not to do that, but at the same time, like if it happens, it's not the end of the world. I also need to refill the food dish. Mm, and they're in a room that I can't just lock them in here. They will continuously just go all the way out. Oh, it's hailing. I just went on a walk with my dog, if you're interested. <laughs> Not that you are, but I decided to take Ellie on a walk. She needs it. Like, <laughs> she was having a hard time keeping up for like the last five minutes of the walk. Because I just, I took a walk around my neighborhood. Yeah, she was having a hard time. I also totally should have looked at what time Clara got pregnant. <laughs> Ta da okay, and she wanted to teach him to talk. So how is he doing? Okay. I think we can get him to talk before we put him to bed. So put Tyler in playpen. We're gonna Empty that. And fill the dog bowl. Yeah, uh, Conrad threw a costume party that I had no interest in going to. So that's what those messages are about. Can eat. I also um, tried a new restaurant tonight. It was a Thai food restaurant and honestly it was it was decent. But okay, so we have this like it's a like a Thai steak like a it's like a grill kind of thing. I don't know how to explain it. There's like a certain they even have like a certain phrase on it of like claiming what it is. Um Or it's like a Thai bar and grill, something like that. And I love their food, but see, my parents don't. My parents actually hate their food. So I only ever get to go there with my friends. And we don't go out to eat a lot often, and a lot of the times they went somewhere else, because honestly, it's not the cheapest place in town. And a couple months ago, um, it was released to the public that there were roach, there was a roast, roach infestation and a rat infestation there um that there are roaches crawling around and like the ingredients and in back and um there was rat poop found all over like the grills because it's one of those things it's got like that teriyaki grill i got out here on the back deck like they have those and then like chairs around it and you get to watch the people cook your food however when you do that it's not always cooked all the way through because <laughs> The chefs are too busy trying to put on a show. That actually is giving my mom. Who is this? Do you know her? Her Jasper? <laughs> I don't know who this chick is. We do not know her. Ask her to leave. Sorry, but sorry, not sorry. No, but um. Like, my mom has gotten sick there from, like, the one try- no, the one time she tried it, like, after they first opened, she and my dad 
went on like a group date kind of thing that my parents went and like a bunch of other like parent couple you know what I mean what, oh my gosh what is this what is this oh they're trick-or-treaters why are you going around Clara where are you going they're trick-or-treaters oh they're well it doesn't help that they're not in costume does it even say give trick-or-treat no well I can't even give them stuff He's got his homework out. <laughs> you better not just sit down and start doing your homework, Arlo. Okay. No, no. This is not homework time on my front porch. But, okay, so yeah. The fact that my mom got sick because they had sat at like the, the bar area or whatever you want to call it, the at the grill. Um, and they didn't cook her food through all the way. So that does not help her opinion about the place. Because she got, like, super sick afterwards. And, yeah, so I found out that this happened. And my friends are both, honestly, they're like, we don't really care. <laughs> and part of me doesn't really want to care. Like, I know it's disgusting, but it's like I loved their food so much that I really don't want to care. So I can go back and eat there. But I know that if I were to go, I'd be like... Was there roaches crawling through this? <laughs> Did they cook this somewhere where rats pooped? <laughs> I know that's how I would be. But I really miss their food. It was really good. But um, one of the friends, she's the one that I normally went with. Um, she found another Thai place in town. It also doesn't help that like her best friend, because sadly that is not me. Um, I'm, I don't think I'm anyone's best friend. <laughs> wow but um a little too serious there anyways her friend is asian um like one of those things where this friend her mom like adopts a bunch of kids from overseas so i think this friend she's like chinese they have a vietnamese like one of her brothers is vietnamese they have a japanese sibling um like stuff like that so like, she introduced my friend to the, like, the Thai food, and uh, my friend is, like, hooked. She loves Thai food. And so we went and tried it tonight. It wasn't anything special as far as I was concerned, actually. I found it kind of dry. I had to put a lot of soy sauce on it. Um, and it, I mean, again, it wasn't anything special, and I'm really picky, and almost everything came served with onions, uh, bell, or onions bell peppers or green peppers and mushrooms and i don't like any of those so i was it was really hard for me to find something that oh we got another trick-or-treater i don't think either of them heard it because they're outside i never get trick-or-treaters in this game that's why i'm so thrown off like spooky day always comes and goes I never get trick-or-treaters, so uh, this is really throwing me off here. But, yeah, so we decided to, like, I decided I was going to try this place for the first time again. It wasn't terrible, but it was basically stir-fry. And I love stir-fry, but this was dry stir-fry. <laughs> so... We'll see, and then, like, I was trying to decide between two different dishes, and I asked the waitress, and, like, so one had, it was called Thai brown sauce, and the other just had brown sauce. And I didn't know if there was a difference, because there were numerous, there were numerous different kinds of sauces listed throughout all of the different, um, 
entrees and stuff. So I just, I would, I didn't know if there was something different or like if there was a difference between them. And I asked the waitress, she's like, you know, that's a good question. I'm like, oh great. Waitress doesn't even know. So she goes and she actually asks like one of the managers or something. The manager doesn't even know what the difference is between these two sauces. I'm like, <laughs> so she came back and she's like, I think the Thai one is sweeter. I'm like, thanks, hon. You're, you're real helpful. So. Yeah, that's been my night. Oh, we feel nauseous. Okay, we need to pick up Tyler. Mm -hmm. I don't think I start my started my timer. I did not start my timer. <laughs> of course I didn't. Um, I want to let Jasper clean up the dishes and you can take care of Tyler because we all we both know Jasper doesn't like kids, so <sighs> sorry, I'm I'm tired and I'm cold. I don't know what's going on. Why didn't you fill the food bowl? Clara? Oh, Come on, register that you're holding him. Go put him in his crib. Okay, and then we'll just have to make sure that I teach him to walk. That's the only thing he has left to learn. No, but I'm tired. Like, <laughs> first week of school, I just finished my first uh, full week of school. Like and it's... Uh. Whooped my butt, guys. It whooped my butt. Like, getting up early in the morning. Hurry up, put him in a crib before you have to go throw up. <laughs> Hurry, Clara! Hurry! Hurry! Oh no! Mm -hmm. uh, Jasper, come put your son in bed. No, Tyler. Do not be getting toys out. Oh, she can't go to the half bath right next to her either. Of course not. Never mind the fact that he has to get up in the morning. <laughs> Let's teach him to walk. We can do that. We're gonna come give him a massage. Thanks. <laughs> if I can. Oh, I have to like... Can you not pick him up? No, but I, um, I, I paint. For those of you who don't know, I, um, I paint. I prefer sketching, but I know how to paint. Oh, yikes. Okay, we'll have to fix that. Um... Why can't I <laughs> do anything here? There we go. Okay. Um, let's flirt with... Flirt with him. Kiss him. Hold his hands. I don't know 
really why I'm doing this. I wanted to just give him a massage because he has a sore back from exercising. Um, but, um, yeah, so I paint. And my mom's birthday is this upcoming week. Okay. And so she keeps dropping hints that she wants a painting. But I haven't. See, the last painting I gave her, she sold to someone else. Um, well, um like, okay, so that sounded really bad, but I mean, she did. She posted about it on Facebook, and then someone else asked if they could buy it, and my mom asked me what price I would sell it for, and then she sold it, and I have yet to get the money for it. And I don't know if that's just because the person hasn't paid, they give my mom the money, or what's going on here, but anyways, so... And I also, I just, I don't know what to paint her, because I don't know if she wants it to go in. See, the last one was going in the bedroom, but she also takes things, she, my mom's a school teacher, and she takes things to put in her classroom, so I don't know, I just, I don't know. I don't know at this point. Um, but actually, I'm going to end this part here, because it has been uh, 21 minutes, so... Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Down in the description, I have my gaming channel linked. If you guys would like to go check that out, that would be awesome. Like, super appreciated. And, yeah. So, thank you guys. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys.